New this morning, there's hope for anyone that's been impacted by cancer or knows someone that has. Scientists developing a vaccine that shows promise in fighting an extremely deadly brain tumor. News Nation's Xavier Walton joining us live from Florida, where researchers are conducting these trials. Xavier, this is a game changer. There's so much hope that this method could also be used for other cancers. Tell us more about this. Well, that's the ultimate goal, Hannah. Good morning to you. And you use that word hope a couple of times. And that's what these researchers are. They are hopeful, especially after this first clinical trial results um, coming out of the University of Florida. I mean, we're talking about more than seven years of research studies, tests, and then more tests. So they are pleased, at least with this first clinical trial. Uh, to put it simply, we're, we're not going to get too deep into the weeds, um, but essentially what these doctors, these brilliant minds have been able to do is found a new way to fight brain cancer with an mRNA vaccine similar to the one used uh, for COVID vaccines during the pandemic. It started with preclinical mouse models turned into a clinical trial with 10 pet dogs with terminal brain cancer. Now, following promising results with the dogs, the team advanced the research to a small FDA approved clinical trial, which involved four human patients. We extended survival in these patients to you know, nine months, nine months, eight months, 10 months. Um, they all eventually succumbed. But I have to mention when we started this trial, we started at very low dosing and we only gave a, a few vaccines. Two patients only got two vaccines. The other two patients got four vaccines. So we still have a lot left to learn. The next step, an expanded phase one clinical trial, which includes up to 24 adults and pediatric patients to really validate the findings of this first part of the trial. And then once researchers find a safe dose of that mRNA cancer vaccine, an estimated 25 children are going to participate in phase two. This is a breakthrough for two important reasons. We talked about the mRNA uh, vaccine technology, which, as yeah. Xavier has said, has been in the making for 30 plus years. This is not new stuff. The second part of this, which is really fascinating and very different from COVID, is that they use the tumor biology of each of these patients to make the uh, vaccine more specific to that particular tumor. And that's why this is so vital. And they're this amazing team at the University of Florida. Um, they're not just focusing on brain cancer. They're doing other research for other cancers as well. That's why when you use that four letter word hope, um, that's why this is potentially a major breakthrough when you hear the excitement in some of their voices, Henna. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.